I am so happy to be able to talk to my good friend Joel Grimes, who has actually got one of the EOS R's. He's one of those pros that Canon allowed to have the camera before its release, and he didn't just test it. He's actually worked it into his workflow. Joel, what can you tell us about the EOS R? Well, um, it's you know really been kind of fun to be a part of the uh, you know the first to get my hands on this camera, and you know at first. You, any new camera takes a few, I would say a day or two to kind of fumble through all the new buttons and all that. But really, after you get initially, you get your hands on it, it's just a camera, right? And so it took me about a day and I got a model. Uh, we were in Maui and I had her on the beach. And so we got into a couple situations where we had to use high speed sync with my strobes. Uh, we used the new 51.2 a lot. I love that lens. Uh, the 24 to 105 uh, f4 was also another um, amazing lens so with those two lenses i got a chance to play with it and then i also added my ef lenses to uh sort of uh, the test and uh, some of my tilt shift lenses my 7200 so i got a chance to really play with it one of the first things that i i, I sort of noticed right away that I, I fell in love with was i've been doing a lot of shallow depth of field portraits. I've been using uh, either the high speed sinking capabilities, uh, strobing outdoors, or in some cases, I've even been using some ND filters to get that shallow depth of field. But when you shoot at a super wide aperture, like say a portrait, close up portrait, super wide aperture, you have about a half inch uh, of depth of field on, the, on that eyeball. And so with my 5DSR and my EF lenses, I was um, having to uh, basically go to live view, then use the magnifying and the back focus to zoom in on the eye, and then I trigger it. And in that case, I get almost 100% guarantee that the eye is gonna be in focus. But with the new R, the US R, it has that new eye tracking capability which gives me uh, the ability to not even have to zoom in or whatever. I just sit there and go click, and it's like snap right on the eyeball. Very cool, very cool. Well, you, you've been teaching an awful lot. I've taken some of your classes, and uh, you teach all across the country. And my question to you regarding the EOS R, who is the ideal candidate to try this camera out? Well, okay, so I ask myself a couple questions. Anytime there's a new piece of equipment, whether it's a, you know, a strobe or it's a tripod or a camera or a lens or whatever, I ask myself the first question is, um, does it get me to my end result? Does, uh, as an artistic, uh, you know, an artist or whatever, and I have an end result, does it help me get there? So um, you could say that um, any new piece of equipment is designed, obviously, to help you know, you know, someone do that, but I have certain needs that I want to get to. So I ask myself, okay, does that help me? Now, the autofocus does, uh, and so I'm like, wow, loving this. The the new R lenses, the e, the the uh, RF lenses, have and th there's a whole lot of information out that's being uh, on these lenses now. But basically, because it's a uh, a mirrorless camera and they've changed the whole design of the lens mount and the way lenses are designed, you get ultra sharp lenses. And so I am a stickler for ultra sharp lenses. In fact, I shoot on a tripod. I, uh, you know, I put sandbags sometimes on my tripod to make that extra stabi st uh, stability that we need to get uh, the cameras to be really sharp. And so I shoot a lot at my sweet spot of the lens, things like that. So I talk a lot about that when I teach about optics. So I'm all of a sudden now in heaven because when you, the first time you take and use one of the R lenses and you do a portrait, you bring it into your computer and blow it up, you go, oh my goodness, this is amazing. So the sharpness and um, the ability for me to, uh, you know, have that focus tracking gets me to my end result. So I'm a little more comfortable now when it comes to that, I guess that that feeling that I'm nailing my focus and I'm getting sharp, ultra sharp lenses. So yes, it does work for me, Joel Grimes and my workflow. Now, there's one thing that I am a stickler also about is megapixels. So I shoot the Canon 5DSR a lot for my client work. But 
If you watch, uh, and I do a lot of teaching on my tilt shift lenses or I do stitching. So already I've tested this camera using my tilt shifts where I'm shooting three frames, stitching in together to make one big megapixel, uh, ultra me megapixel file. So that's worked for me with the ultra sharp lenses. I'm going, I'm getting about an 80 megapixel capture when I get the, the finals all put together. So that will meet the needs of my clients. So I'm very happy there. Joel Grimes, thank you so much for spending a little time with us and telling about the unique take that you have on the EOS R. Can you tell people where they can find out a little bit more about Joel Grimes besides here on Kelby One? Well, um, so joelgrimes.com is my the website that I kind of you know have as my best of my best images. And then I have a blog, joelgrimesworkshops.com, and also good, uh, some information there. So really between those two sites, you can find out about all you need to know about me. Thank you very much, Joel. We do appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time to Skype with us. Thank you.